Hello, in this video I would like to show why it is important to define access to users in contact filter and how you can actually do this. So first of all, why somebody should have access to contact builder. So it is important to define access to contact data in contact builder to various Martin Cloud users. For instance, if you hire a marketing agency that uh, needs to do to create certain templates in Content Builder, probably you wouldn't like them to have the access to your data that is stored in Content Builder. Especially, you wouldn't like them to have the opportunity to delete that data. Uh, on the other hand, maybe you would like some other users to have certain permissions and to uh, give them the opportunity to, uh, let's say, delete context. So how you can do this in uh, Martin Cloud? So in order to define users with a certain roles and permissions, you need to hover over your uh, name here on the right and click on Setup. Then under administration, you can find the thing users and here are roles and users. So we can actually firstly click on roles. And what is interesting here is that you can see all the default roles that Salesforce Marketing Cloud already has, but maybe you have, uh, you would like to have some certain custom roles. So this is also you can do by uh, clicking here on create and you can give a name to your uh, role. So I'm just going to name it testing. And here you can actually see uh, the permissions that go along with this role. So for instance, if we find here contact builder, we can also expand it and we can see what we would like to allow or deny. So for instance, there is an access to contact builder itself, but what is more important is the uh, option to delete contacts. So this is how you can create a role and later how you can also assign a certain uh, user with a role. So, for so now let's go here to the users and now we can see this user. We're going to click here on the left and here we can see the option manage roles. And now we can see that this uh, user is assigned uh, with the roles of administrator and marketing cloud administrator. And here if you click on edit roles, you can actually choose some other roles for this user and then press save. So that's it for today's video. That is how you can define certain users with certain roles and how you can create custom roles in uh, Martin Cloud. And if you like this video, uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss out on, on SFMC best practices. Thanks for watching.